Big boys, big toys, gun bling. You follow my channel, you know I love gun bling, especially lasers and lights. Now when it comes to rifle mounted laser lights, there's just not a lot of options out there. Now I've been trying to hook up with Crimson Trace for quite a while. Um, the CMR 301 Railmaster really caught my attention. Thanks to Dawson, I finally got my hands on one. You're gonna wanna check this out. There we got it. I'm Drew Case. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion. And it is what it is. Now, if you're into lasers and lights, you most certainly have heard of Crimson Trace. You may not have heard of the CMR 301 if you have a rifle and you've been looking for one. Now, before we do anything else and waste any more time with this, you follow my channel, you know I like to torture test stuff. Let's put this through the ringer, make sure it holds up, and then we'll get into it. outstanding passed with flying colors it doesn't have on the web page or the box or the instructions it doesn't say what the ipx rating is did a little fishing ipx7 anyway it passed let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and then i'm going to show you up close all the features that this thing has to offer Okay, so real quick, I just want to go through the features here with the 301 Railmaster from Crimson Trace. This thing is awesome, guys. I got to say, I am I'm super impressed. It passed the torture test. This thing is really simple. We've got an on-off switch here, and in addition to using the pressure pad, and you just tap it, and you have on. This is where our batteries go, and I got to say, I'm, I'm really impressed with this lithium battery and check this out it's got a usb port so we can plug it in and recharge this battery um, this is the first time i've ever seen a battery like that that's pretty that's pretty cool i'm impressed okay then as far as mounting we've got your standard you know 1913 picatinny rail type mount here all we do is loosen these screws And then this little plastic polymer piece pops out. It tells you muzzle here and the direction. And then this just clips on on your rail wherever you want. It's a hard clip. It, it goes on hard, but it will pop off relatively easy when you want to move it. When you put this back on and you put these screws in, it cinches it down and it tightens it down on that rail so that it doesn't just pop off. It's, it's actually uh, genius. 
And then you also have the M-Lock version. And these little guys, they go in here, they pop out, and you would just take those and put those on that M-Lock. Okay, then back here, we can either use the pressure pad switch or go without it. If we do use it, we've got this little rubber grommet there that goes in. Okay, this has a little arrow on it for directional. And we've got here, it shows you unlocked, locked. So we line that up. Now it's, you gotta push hard. We push this in and then it locks and it's in tight. Now we can use the pressure pad and turn it on and off. This does go to a rail. So if you have M-Lock, you just need to get one of those little rails. And I did a video actually on those. You can get them for like 10 bucks polymer and attach that. Okay, got the different settings here. Now it's not gonna activate with the pressure switch. We have to turn it on, but it's still not on. I still have to use the pressure switch and then it's on. And then I can cycle through and have it at whatever setting I want. Then I can either turn it off there or I can turn it on and off here. And when I'm all done or I just wanna store it, then I switch it to off and it's not gonna accidentally go on. Okay, also what comes with it is we've got a couple stickers if you wanna put those on there. And then we've got these little cleaners for getting in and cleaning the lens on that laser. We've got the screws for attaching the M-lock base. And then of course, everything that we need to attach and adjust this. Windage elevation is really easy. Something that I absolutely love with this is the directions. They are, I'm a direction person. Some of you hate reading directions. These directions are awesome. They are KISS, keep it simple, stupid. They have pictures for those of us that can't read. Okay, they make it really easy. And one of the things that I love and you've, if you've ever messed with lasers, you know what I'm talking about. Depending on where we mount it, figuring out which one is elevation and which one is windage, they give you a nice visual showing however you mount this, this is where your windage and elevation is for making adjustments. Good thinking at Crimson Trace. Okay, real quick here, I just wanna show you, I'm doing a review on an Aero 556 upper and I got this Railmaster mounted on that. Oh my gosh, man, guys, it looks sexy. Now I chose the top mount because it's up out of the way and it's not interfering with either of my optics and it's set up perfectly for, I'm a right-handed shooter, okay? I've got the MFT furniture on here and this is the most comfortable way to hold. And then my thumb is right there on the presser switch pad. Now, it did surprise me. I was expecting this to not stay on there very good, but that is, that's on there guys. I mean, I'm, I'm torquing on that and it's not wanting to come off. Now on the pressure pad switch, it's a little different story. Listen, that's a little loose for me. That's going to be thus far. The only thing that I found really that I'd gripe about is I would like to be able to attach this on there more firmly. It pops off pretty easy tactically. That's gonna be an issue. Either need some screws up here, like we have on this to cinch it down or a screw to come in, or maybe even make it so that we have the option of being able to use like Velcro or something other than being stuck with this. And if we are gonna have that, then we need to be able to secure that better. I've got these little rails here. I found these on Amazon. You don't need to spend a lot of money, guys. I think I got a whole I got a whole box of these. I did a review on them just because they were so cheap. They're tough as nails. I tried to break them. I couldn't. And it was like, yeah, 10 bucks or something. So it's perfect. Pops on. And there we are. Let's go have some fun. Okay, I've tried just about everything here to get it so that the camera, so that you can actually see. That's 50 yards down there, okay? Way down there is 100, and then over there, if you're familiar with 
my videos, we've got 200 across the pond. I can actually see my steel with the laser and aim it at 200. I'm gonna use my video. You're not probably gonna see much, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it that I am shooting down there at 200 yards. for that smoke to clear. Actually could use a little bit of wind. There we got it. All right, let's go 100. This will be a lot easier. <laughs> the smoke's getting in the way. <laughs> you know, I could stop right now and that says it all, shooting steel, standing at 200 yards and 100 yards using a laser in a light. Now, if I was smart and conserving ammo, I would have just simply dropped the mic and walked away because I don't even need to shoot it here at 50, but whoever said that I was smart. And I can't see because of the smoke. <laughs> guys it doesn't get any better than that check that out man that is awesome at 50 yards that just rocks and without the smoke i could just as easily do it at 100 it is getting hard to see it at 200 with the optic uh and without the optic it's it's hard to see it too but yeah I don't even need I don't even need to do anymore. There you have it, folks. It is what it is. Crimson Traces CMR 301 Railmaster. You decide for yourself what you think. Anyway, I hope you found the video helpful. Make sure and hit that sub button. That really does help. Come visit my webpage. Until next time, guys, remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.